scientists have just uncovered a superpower that lets sunflowers survive under dry conditions. And all this time, it's been hidden in plain sight. I'm Dan Riskin. Nothing brightens a room like fresh flowers. But as much as we like to look at them, their beauty isn't really intended for us. Want proof? Well, how about the fact that many of their colors are totally invisible to humans? We can see all the colors of the rainbow, but somewhere in the purples, our eyes hit a limit. There are some violets that are just too purple for us. We call them ultraviolet. Well, a lot of flowers have bright, beautiful ultraviolet patterns that are invisible to humans, but totally visible to the insects that pollinate them. In other words, as beautiful as flowers look to you and me, they must look even better to the bees. But a new study shows there's even more to those ultraviolet colors than meets the bees' eyes. And those patterns might matter for climate change. Researchers from UBC compared patterns of sunflowers from different parts of North America. Now to our eyes, they all look yellow. But when the researchers looked at those invisible ultraviolet colors, they found that the flowers from drier climates had more purple on them. And when they tested the tolerance of sunflowers from different places to water loss, they found that the ultraviolet colors were making flowers better able to retain water. The study's a reminder of the importance of genetic diversity for species dealing with climate change. To us, the sunflowers all look the same all across North America, but they're not the same at all. And as certain parts of the world get drier, the flower's variability will give them the tools they need to adapt. That's good news for the plants, it's good news for their pollinators, and you know what? It's good news for us too, even if we don't always see the whole picture. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.